So my name is uh, Jukka Perento, and I'm the uh, VP of Incron Hawaii in Finland. And uh, well, actually, before before I go any further, let's let's say that uh, in case you have any questions, please flee, feel free to use the uh, chat function of this presentation or send email to info at incron.com or the third option is uh, please come and visit us uh, our friend space of uh, Incron Hawaii. So my uh, purpose is to discuss about the uh, mainly about the uh, index matching high refractive index black materials which is one of our recent products but first a little bit uh, background about Incron so the Incron is a specialist of siloxane resins. So we design and formulate and also manufacture our own resins in-house, as well as do the formulation in-house uh, uh, thinking uh, uh, already in, in the beginning uh, a specific application. So we are not selling like uh, raw resin as it is, but we sell uh, formulated in-house made uh, resin systems or composites. Siloxane is uh, optically clear and very transparent product, so it's uh, optim optimum selection for the uh, for the uh, optical uh, ap applications. Also, it's thermally very stable. As we design the resins ourselves, we we are able to uh, cover a very wide range of re refractive indices, as you will shortly see, which which is of course very helpful for the uh, optical uh, applications. Uh, the typical markets we are active with, we work with LED packaging. We have a diet that's adhesive uh, products, a family of those. We have uh, LED encapsulant materials for, for LEDs. Uh, then on the other hand, we also work with uh, inks, printable inks for optics and electronics, which are supported by our structural adhesive products. The main topic of today is uh, naturally optical uh, materials for optical devices where we have both ultra high low and high refractive index materials for light management coatings and the special area where we are focusing is now on print lithography resins uh, i mentioned uh, the uh, refractive indices we, we can work with our lowest uh, refractive index coding, like AR coding, starts from 1.1 refractive index, and the low end is basically covered from 1.1 to 1.4 refractive index. Then we have a medium medium range uh, from 1.4 to 1.7, where we have uh, adhesives, cap filling materials, and also nano imprintable uh, materials, and then the ultra high refractive index coatings uh, designed for the uh, nano imprinting starting from 1.55 up to 1.9 and over and creeping slowly closer and closer to 2.0. The uh, product, product groups and a little bit of the applications are basically here. So the low refractive index, as I mentioned, they are from 1.1 to 1.4. Uh, like anti-reflection uh, coatings for visible and infrared area uh, and so on. And then on the high refractive index and nano imprint coatings as mentioned. And then uh, special special product is this edge blackening product uh, with uh, adjustable refractive index from 1.55 to 1.9. I will explain that a little bit better just uh, shortly. The application or exemplary app applications uh, one, one can use these type of the products are, for example, these like uh, 3D sensor components, like uh, 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 for pattern formation or diffusion uh, plates, etc. AR class in coupling and outcoupling uh, diffractive optics or anti reflection coatings. Uh, for different areas uh, and the uh, cladding layers for light optimization and gap filling in case uh, the application requires high delta n between the uh, high and low refractive index like uh, 0 0.5 or even more can, can be done in certain uh, cases. So uh, as I said, we work very much with the nano imprint lithography 
And for, for that reason, we, we have a tool, nanoimprint lithography tool in house, which we, which we use to uh, accelerate our resin development for nanoimprint, but also we can provide like let's say pilot prototype uh, testing services for our customers when when required. We have some uh, examples of nano imprinted structures, uh, like with the refractive index uh, 1.7, 1.8, and 1.9. And uh, as as you can see, uh, slanted gratings can can be even a bidirectional slanted gratings can be can be uh, nano imprinted and uh, please take a look at also the uh, uh, very thin residual layer on the upper right hand corner around 50 nanometer residual layer with the slanted grating which is nano imprinted with a 1.9 resin okay then uh, couple slides about the uh, index matching optical black resin system we have the uh, recently uh, companies are using more and more high refractive index substrates especially in the augmented reality or with augmented reality class uh, wave waveguide systems and it's uh, common uh, uh, knowledge that the optical or that the black coating is often used on the edge of the glass substrate to uh, uh, eliminate the uh, reflections from the edge so uh, now, now when the substrate uh, refractive index is getting higher, like 1.9 or even 2.0 is not so uncommon, what happens is that, that this uh, reflection number one there, let, let me take a pointer here. So uh, here at the interface of the glass substrate and the black material, if you have a high refractive index difference, that index difference can can create quite high reflection already there so uh, our, our purpose is to match the ind indexes of the substrate and the black material and therefore eliminate this part of the uh, reflection rest of it is taken care with the high optical density of the uh, black absorbed material we have done some uh, mes measurements to see see how it works like like uh, this, this kind of a structure you see on the upper right hand corner there's a 1.9 refractive index glass wafer and then uh, we measured uh, the reflections without the black coating and reflections with different type of the black materials with different refractive indices so we see that without any black coating the reflection is 10 percent so very high and if, if we put the black material with the 1.6 refractive index, it drops down to somewhere around 1% or so. And then, then we go higher with the refractive index 1.7, 1.8 and 1.9. And the 1.9, which is index matching the 1.9 substrate, it's very close to zero. And at the wavelength of 589, we see that, that there's 0.04 uh, percent uh, reflection is left uh, com compared to over one percent with 1.6 uh, refractive index back so it's uh, very essential to index match the uh, black material with the high refractive index substrate visually one can see it uh, uh, quite easily here like if we look at these green pictures here the left hand side there's a laser beam goes to the edge of the substrate and there's no black material and you can easily see the uh, reflection uh, back then in the middle there's uh, 1.5 black put in there uh, you still can see it by the eye here on the picture the uh, reflection back but if if we index match it with the 1.9 there's no reflection seen anymore so uh, I, I guess that I'm running out of my time, so I will stop here. So any questions, come to our brand space, Incron OY, or use uh, info at incron.com email or the chat tool. Okay, thank you uh, very much, and uh, hope, hope to see you soon.